The Lutheran Evangelical Church of Jordan and the Holy Land has a new bishop. Elected one year ago, Pastor Sani Ibrahim Charlie Azar officially took office on January 12, 2018 succeeding Pastor Munib Yunan. Family members, parishioners, and representatives of religious and civil authorities welcomed him at the Jaffa Gate in Jerusalem. The procession that covered the alleys of the old city of Jerusalem and that was preceded by scout groups from Beit Sahur and from Beit Jala arrived to the Evangelical Lutheran Church of the Redeemer, where the solemn ceremony of consecration took place. We have a great responsibility toward the church and toward the community of our local faithful Christians. We hope we will be united and that we will live the Christian faith with a stronger bond, not only among ourselves, but also with those who belong to other faith denominations. I hope we gather around the city of Jerusalem so that it may be a city of peace for all. The sound of the bells in the Church of the Redeemer marked the beginning of the ceremony attended by representatives of various churches, by numerous Lutheran bishops from Europe, by various local faithful, and also by the family of the new pastor. The outgoing bishop, Yunid Yunan, who led the Lutheran Evangelical Church for 30 years, presided over the celebration assisted by numerous pastors. My motto from the beginning of my service has been and continues to be, I am not ashamed of the gospel since it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. This is the message I offer to all the bishops, to the church, to the pastor, and to the parish. I tell them to preserve the pure and impeccable gospel of Christ so that it can reach the hearts of men, for it is a gospel of love, and as such it belongs to everyone. It is a gospel of justice and freedom. According to tradition, prayers and invocations were recited for the new bishop so that he can continue to serve the church and to take the leadership of the parish. Bishop Yunib handed over the ring, the mitre, and the pastoral staff to his successor, as well as the holy gospel that he would use to preach the word of God. Amen. In an atmosphere of celebration and joy, the new pastor is greeted by the cheers of all those present who offered him warm wishes for his new call.